What's going on, folks? All right, I am going to pick a Strami 90 lock today. But first, check the description. Go check out Discord. Link's down there. And if you haven't checked out Strami's channel, uh, he hasn't posted content for a little bit, but he does have a few videos. Same place. Link's in the description. Go check him out. You should be ashamed if you're watching my videos and haven't checked out Strami. Alright. So, all, now that's all out of the way. Oh, and email address. My email address in the link in the description. So, alright, now that's all out of the way for this time for sure. Uh, this one is... This one is named... Uh, Scrap. Well, there it is. Kind of. This one's named Scrap by Strami90. And it was pinned 527 of 2018. And there's the bidding on the key. And it's an Abus Euro has been snapped. So we're going to toss this up in the vise and see what kind of damage we can do to it. There it is. He does work in it. So. And what we're going to do is, since this one came from Strami, and I don't think I've done it on any of his other locks, we're going to use one of the, or, well, I'm not sure which one, but we're going to use the multi-picks that he sent me. Uh, right from Germany, he sent me two multi-picks with our trade. I hope if I hold them the right way. There you go. So, we're going to start out with the number six and see how things go. And we'll go counterclockwise. And it feels like number two, no, number one. Number five is set, I think. I think I'm gonna go for that deeper hook now. Get counter. I'm going to guess and say that there's some counter milling in there that's keeping it from letting itself counter rotate enough. That was a big false set off of number four. Feels like I dropped a few things in there. It's 
number five. I believe this is only a five pinner. Never looked. I need a short hook now to get underneath pin four. Oh wow, there it is. Alrighty. Picked a German lock with German pins from Stromy in Germany, so. Before I take that out of frame, let's back that off. Oh, fun. I forgot to check if it was a bendy or not. I'm gonna zoom you all guys in again because I've got to reach up underneath my desk. I was not prepared, so I don't have my clip remover for my bendy clips. So much easier than fighting with it and jabbing myself with a screwdriver or anything else. Oh, I know where that shim went. It's in another project. Oh, we're stuck with this one then. Flimsy security tag one. Yep, it's only a five pinner. Alrighty. Let's see if I can keep from botching the gutting. Actually, I realized this on my last video. Let's use a foxy pin, uh, follower. It's a bit smaller than mine is. Oh wow. Yeah, there's all kinds of undercutting and everything in there. All right. All oh, the pins are in and working. Number one is an overset trap. Turn that around here in a second. Come on out of there. And that fell in the right spot too.
last one came out fine on its own. Let's see, we have got standard for one, threading in two, and I'm not sure why he did this, but he did. It's he drilled out cylinders two, three, and four. He enlarged them. I think it made it easier. Whoever the next person is that gets this lock, they can tell me if they think it's easier or harder. I hope that's showing up. Now, let's see if we can get the top taken care of without a gutting disaster. I think I'm just going to keep going the way I normally do. My tweezers are too big to fit in there. Wow, that looks all kinds of chewed up. Looks like we're going to have some uh, shy springs in this one. You can kind of see where it got its name Scrap. Oh, that one's going to come out. I think my tweezers are still magnetized from the last Strami lock I picked. They already tricked throwing a magnet in there. And that one is not going to come out. I think he got, may have gotten a couple of, a wrap or two of the uh, spring inside the cap. But it's a copper spring in three. Very nice serrated for number five. Yeah, looks like two of them are stuck in there. Nope, just the one. Yeah, that one's stuck. I'm not gonna trash the spring by fighting it. It's just gonna stay up in there. Let's see here. Smooth, smooth. Smooth. Number three feels like it's got threads in it, and that's the one that's got the stuck spring, so I'm not too sure about it.
Alright. And here's what we're looking at. And scrap it by a strami. I'm running a little long on this video, so I'm not going to call them out, all out. I'm sure my camera's going to give me a m nice message saying overheating soon. Alright, folks. Check out everyone in the links below. And uh, until next time, I will catch y'all later.